So here we are, the last part, part six in our series on creating an Active Directory domain in Azure. This is install and configure the ADDS role on the second virtual machine that we created. So here's where we're at. Now I've gone ahead and taken the luxury of installing the ADDS role just like we did in step four. So if you need a refresher on that, go ahead and review step four. Then at that point, you're ready to log into your second server, which I've already done. I've installed the role and I'm ready to promote it. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose promote this server as a domain controller. This time I wanna make sure I choose add a domain controller to an existing domain. And I find it helpful to type in the exact domain as I created it on the first domain controller. So I type that in and choose select. Now, if you notice, it's trying to log in using the credentials for the local server. I need it to log into the Active Directory domain. So I'm gonna type corp backslash, give it that Active Directory um, domain admin account that I created, give it that complex password and say, okay. Now at this point, it should very quickly bring up the domain. I'm gonna select that default domain and choose okay. At this point, notice it's now going to use those domain admin credentials for the corporate domain. I'll choose next. I do want it to be a read-only domain controller, and I'm going to give it that same complex password, that unique password, for the directory services restore mode. So I've given it that directory services restore mode password, the same password I gave it previously, and I choose next. At this point, I'm not gonna worry about the DNS error. It'll fix itself, I'll choose next. Where do I wanna replicate from? Well, currently I only have one domain controller. I'm gonna choose it. There's the domain controller, the fully qualified domain name of that first domain controller. So I'm just gonna choose that, choose next. Now remember, we again instantiated an S drive on this machine as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this over to my sysvol. Choosing S and then choose next. It'll go ahead and give me the summary. I'll double check that everything looks good, which it does, I'll choose next. Now remember, it is gonna to wanna to do a restart here. It'll verify my prerequisites. I'm gonna pause while it does that. Once it runs that check, we can go ahead and just read and make sure everything, we're looking for this green check mark at the end and choose install. Now remember, once it installs, it's gonna go ahead and restart the server. I'm gonna lose that connection. I'm gonna go ahead and pause while it restarts. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna test Active Directory by just simply adding a user and make sure that the inf information is replicated across the two domain controllers. So hold on, we'll be right back. So we've gone ahead, we've restarted the second server. I'm back into my domain controller one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to tools. I'm gonna go to Active Directory users and computers. And we're just gonna confirm that Active Directory installed. So here we are, we're in the corp.miim. I'm in users, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose new user. So I'm just gonna select the user here. I'm gonna create a test user. So there's test user. Their username will be test.user at the corp domain. I'm gonna say next. I'm gonna give it a password. User must change password at login. Sure, I'll say next, I'll say finished. So the password doesn't meet the requirements. Let me go back and redo the password here. Here we go. That password should meet the requirements. I'll say next. I'll say finished, and there is my test user right there. So let me quickly go over. It probably hasn't worked this quickly. I'll go over into 
my second domain controller. So let's look. We'll go into local server. We'll see, see that we're on DC2 now. I'll go into tools. We'll go into Active Directory users and computers. And we'll see what well, look right there. So there is our test user. So we've created an Active Directory user account and it's instantiating and and doing what it's supposed to do, creating that redundant account over to the secondary domain controller. So we are done. We've successfully installed and configured Active Directory in Azure. We've gone ahead and tested Active Directory by adding an account and we are done. If you have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and comment and I will reply. Take care.